Good morning, นะครับ everyone. So, all right. So today, นะครับ we are going to continue talking about um, our Power BI, นะครับ um, for the topics that we um, should know in order to just like use for um, like managing and visualizing your data. นะครับ okay. So everyone, ครับ just like open up your Power BI file that we um, used on the last class, นะครับ and um, I'll have a short recap before we talk about the new thing. On the last class, นะครับ we um, talk about like the manipulating of the data that we have got in our Power BI. Uh, whenever we um, just like fixing all the problems of our data, we normally, uh, in order to make your data to be ready in Power BI, we call it as um, data cleansing. Uh, and on the last class, we talk about like um, some um, techniques to do the um, data cleansing already. Uh, the first one and the easiest one that, um, I mean, not easiest one, the, the first and um, I mean the initial task that you should do about the data cleansing is about uh, whenever you get the data into your Power BI uh, report file, you might see that some of your data have um, the data type might be wrong, the heading of the each table might be wrong, then you have to uh, manipulate them by going to the Power Query editor. And the tools in order to do the data cleansing in Power BI is that you have to go to home, have transform data, and then choose transform data. This one is our Power Query editor that we use in order to just like manipulate all the data in every single aspect that we have got. For example, if you would like to change the data type, you go to each query, that is um, the table in um, our Power BI. And after that, you just choose. And after that, you just choose um, the um, icon in front of the column name. For example, if you say that category ID, uh, um, if it is, it was actually, it was the number before, and you want to change to be the text, you just choose in here. When you are asked um, by Power Query Editor, whether you would like to create a new steps uh, in um, Power Query Editor for this table or not, uh, normally answer it as yes, uh, create a new step because you can undo it properly. Once you say that you create a new step, it just like create a new step that is change type one uh, in this example. For some of the um, table or some of the queries, if the um, headers uh, are wrong, for example, if the data is switched to be the data, um, I mean, if the headers is switched to become the data, I uh, have one record of data in your table, and you may have like column one, column two, column three as the headers, you can switch by use, use first row as headers in the state. If you have like the blank rows that you don't want, you can just like um, choose remove rows and then just clear it out uh, according to what you want. Um, some tools that you may use uh, apart from remove top rows, you can also choose remove blank rows as well, just in case that um, your data that you get into Power BI has some problems. Uh, for example, once you get the data from the database <clears throat> or from some website, it is possible that some of your um, data that you get uh, might have some um, blank row accidentally. You may just like, um, go to that table uh, and then choose remove um, blank rows uh, in that one. Or in case that you have like um, some of the rows that are the same, absolutely the same, you can choose remove duplicates as well. Uh, that is the way that we use in order to clean our data. All right, after that, uh, when we talk about the um, cleansing of the data for the um, importing data or the data that you get from um, other sources. Uh, we found that some sometimes whenever we would like to use the Power BI uh, in order to show some kind of charts, the data must be manipulated more than just like what we clean uh, when um, just more than we, we clean the data. For example, uh, when we talk about the, um, the chart like um, the field map, like this. 
you can see that in here. If we just like use a field map, one thing that field map want to have, นะครับ is that it use it would um it needs it needs to use like the country, นะครับ otherwise it doesn't show anything. For example, in here, I use the chief address full that we have got before. As one field in the in the chart, in the visual, and after that is um let's say if I say that I want to know um quantity, that the customer order, you can see that right now it doesn't show anything on the um chip address full here. Ah, oh, sorry, on on the field map here. The reason is because for this type of the chart or this type of the visual. It needs to have, นะครับ It needs to have the um country to specify the country on the map directly. And unfortunately, นะครับ The um the field called ship address full consists of like the street address, นะครับ Including zip code, including country. So it doesn't work in here. That's why we have to find a way in order to just like split the country. Out of like other parts of the address, uh, the way in order to do this one, uh, you just go to transform data in the Power Query editor once again. Uh, so we know that the field that can con that that contains the part of the um, data that we want that is country is located in orders table. Uh, so you can see that in here. Uh, It's a chip address full column. So when you have chip address full column here, and you say that okay, you want just the country, what should we do? I have firstly, you copy, I have or you duplicate this um this column first, so that we can ha still have like the original um chip address full column. I have in order to duplicate, you highlight, I have or you choose that column first. After that, we right click. And choose duplicate column. You can see that we have chip address full copy. I have in here. So um, let's see. I have if you don't get like the chip address full copy at the right um located at the rightmost column, you can drag to move. I have the column like this in the Power Query editor easily. I have. So you can just like um switch the position of. The column as you want. Uh, in the future as well, when we study more and we found that the order of the column is not what we want, you can come to the Power Query editor and drag uh, in order to move uh, or relocate that um, column. All right. Now we get the chip address full copy already. We will split uh, the country out of this um, column. In order to split, you have to understand um, the concept of splitting the data first. Um, in terms of data manipulation, if you would like to split any data, you have to notice that okay, do they have any symbols that is used to separate the data in that column or not? So you can see that for the data here, in every single rows, they have to use the same rules because. When you just like use splitting um, um function in Power BI, it just apply to every cell in the same column. Uh, when you just like um ask it to split, so you can see that in here, it separates each part of the address by comma symbol. Uh, for every single record. So when you have this idea already, uh, you know that. Um, this set of data use comma, uh, to separate the data, uh, to, from each other, especially for the country. If you have a look on the country, uh, before we have the country, we always have comma right in every single line. So we use this idea, uh, this fact, in order to split the country out of the chip address full. The comma, uh, in this case that they use, uh, we call this symbol as delimiter. Uh, uh, delimiter. 
delimiter นะครับ is the character that we use to delimit or to split นะครับ or to separate sorry not split to separate um, a piece of data out of another piece of data so in in this one นะครับ we use comma as the delimiter and the position comma um the the position of comma that we target in order to split นะครับ is the rightmost comma of each cell or of each record you can see that we want just the country so that's why in this case นะครับ in this example we want just the country so that means we aim นะครับ at the rightmost comma in here as the um, delimiter to split while we um, don't want to split other um, um, part of the chip address full out นะครับ we just like do like this so when we have comma as the delimiter already the next thing that we have to do นะครับ is that we just um, go to split นะครับ so firstly you click on chip address full copy first นะครับ for the whole column after that นะครับ we choose split <coughs> we choose split column Have we choose split column? It's here. So in the split column, if you choose it, you have like three major um three major things that you can do. You may split by delimiter, by numbers of characters, or by positions. In this one, it depends on uh what um looks of data that we have got. You can see that in this one, in this look, the data has the delimiter to split. นะครับ that you can use it while some of the data you don't have delimiter for example if you say that you have a field นะครับ that consists of your student ID you can see that in here นะครับ um, I say that okay the first two um, the first two digits of your um, of your student ID is the year that you enter MUIC The third digit is the faculty that you are studying. Eight means MUIC, นะครับ And the rest four of them um, are running numbers, นะครับ So in the in this case, if you would like to split and you want to just like um, split to know that okay which year that student or which batch that this student um, come to MUIC or start studying at MUIC, we will use นะครับ character number of characters to split. Sorry. This one. So then you choose like two um, digits, นะครับ to split um, this number out, นะครับ This is the example. So in this one, นะครับ our uh, data here, we really want to have just like the last comma to help splitting the data here. So we will just like go to split column and then choose by delimiter instead. When you choose by delimiter, it asks you that which symbol that we use um, as the delimiter in this um, in this column. นะครับ We use comma as the delimiter. Yeah. So um, Power BI will try to detect the data first. นะครับ It sees um, many commas in the same field or in the same record. Then it knows that okay, um, you should use comma. But if it is not, นะครับ For example, if it's wrong. You can just like choose other symbol instead. นะครับ Okay. Um, the most frequently used um symbols, นะครับ as the delimiters are comma, นะครับ colon, space and tab, นะครับ that we usually use. Okay. But anyway, somebody else might use like some other symbols like colon or semicolon. That is possible. นะครับ Then you can use it as well. นะครับ Depends on the situation. And ah. Uh, When you choose comma already, you have to tell Power Query Editor that okay, which comma that you aim at. And as we, um, as I told you earlier, we want the rightmost comma before, um, because we would like to have the country to be split it. Uh, then we choose rightmost delimiter. So we click OK. Then you can see that there will be another column created. I uh, have. And the country is splitting from the chip address full. Okay, if I just like um, undo this step first. Okay, the things that you can see is that in here, if you say that okay, what if I split column, uh, by using each occurrence of the delimiter, what will happen? Uh, 
in this case it will split everything out นะครับ every time it sees the comma and let's see how this is the things that happen you can see that in here um when you use this one นะครับ when you use split column by delimiter and choose each occurrence this one it doesn't work why is that why don't i choose this one you can see that we aim that the right most um, data should be country right but in this case you can see that some of the um, records doesn't have country it shows now it has now while the chip address for sorry while the country some of the records have has a chip um, has the country located in chip address who copy four instead why is that because some of the records the way in order to have the commas might be different from others for example they may say that they have just like um the um chip address uh -huh. they have city sorry they have the street address um city zip code country while some of them has also just like um the chip address city uh -huh. um what else the um maybe sub country um sub sub city and have all area in, um, instead of having just just the um, city and then go to zip code directly so that's why in this case it doesn't work we have to split just the country only not everything have like this one that we have got okay so i undo these steps okay so when i just like um split and then i just choose split by just like the rightmost comma then I have the country that I want. And then I just like delete have the, the copy of the chip address for that I don't want. When I would like to rename, when I would like to rename the um, column that I just recently created, we just like um, right click and then choose rename. And then you just rename it to be shipping country like we did on the last class. Uh, when we have this one already, this one is almost done. Uh -huh. Whenever you would like to have the proper shipping country, uh -huh, this is like what I want to tell you. Okay, You can see that in here, in front of each country, uh -huh, it doesn't just like stick to the left border of the column. If you have a look before we have the um the, the country like for example France in front of F you have space in front of G Germany you have space that means every single um records of data the shipping country has a space before the country name why is that because if you have a look if you have a look on our original shipping address full you have comma followed by a space before the country then I have in order to complete this shipping country to not have the space in front of the country name I have, we need to use a function to help so before we do that I have everyone we um, just duplicate this column first so that I can just like compare I have the original one and the one that you um, cleaned it already I have. okay so in this one, you get a shipping country copy already. Okay, so we use a function in order to just like eliminate um, the um, the leading space in here. Uh -huh. To eliminate the leading space, uh -huh, we use the function that we call trimming. Uh -huh. Trimming is that okay? Is the function that will consider uh -huh, some improper space that you shouldn't have. For example a leading space in front of the text. If the text is the first word of that, um, of that um, cell, for example, if the um, address, the shipping address full, before you have 59 Rue de la Ville in here, if it has space, the space in front of um, address 59 should ha shouldn't, be, shouldn't happen. Then it will just like eliminate the leading space in that one. Or, some of the um some of the words for example if we say that okay boulevard tiru in here i have um it has two spaces 
two spaces shouldn't happen นะครับ with the normal text that you write down then you do trim uh, one space out so the boulevard um, tiru will be just like one space in between only นะครับ this is the um, trimming function in um, power bi so in this one how do we gonna trim so uh, you just firstly click on that um, the column นะครับ that you would like to trim after that we right click นะครับ and then choose transform I have choose transform you see trim in here just click trim have, let me do again I have so I right click at the column I want to trim choose transform and then trim you can see that right now I have you should have a step called trim text have in the apply step and then you just like compare I have you just compare between the original shipping country I have and the one that you trim already in front of the country name I have in the um, in the trimmed um, column you don't have a leading space anymore I have so that means if you do like this it will help you in order to just like use this um, shipping country for other purposes. For example, if the um, visual needs to have the, the shipping country properly, I have this one, it helps to show just like the shipping country for us, I have without the leading space. So when we finish this, I remove the old shipping country out, I have, I'll use a new one. So I just renamed this to be shipping country. Okay. Now I have shipping country without the leading space already. I have when we have this one already, we just close and apply. After you close and apply already, and I have just wait when you come back to Power BI um, um, report file. Okay. So in this one, I have um you just like change for the new um i mean the new visual that we created we choose shipping country instead yeah. Sometimes it needs the refreshing time. Nah kap. If you do everything properly and it doesn't um, update it, you may have to clear out all the checkbox nah kap in the field and then do it again. Nah kap. So that it just like show the correct one. So you can see that in here. Um, some of you may have the question that okay, last time we did um the splitting of the country name, but we didn't trim it. Why um shipping country? Sorry, why this chart show the the proper or the correct um, um data for the um field map? Okay. The answer I can tell you is that okay because the current version of Power BI, okay, the the visual one here, they have uh, like the um smarter okay, AI in order to split and in order to acknowledge that leading space of country doesn't matter. I have, and then it just like show the data for you. But I have the older version, for example, um, on the last term, have, when they didn't update the field map, I have for um being the standard visualization for Power BI report, uh, Power BI desktop, um, it didn't show anything. I have it just like show the blank map for us. Now they update already, and I'm sure that there might be like some of the visual. That you can just like um, load it from um, the um, the um, visual here. I have in here. Just want to load in this one. Uh, when you would like to um, load more visual, some visuals that um, consist of the country or needs a country to show in the map as well. Uh, or having the country to show in their um, in their visual 
needs to have the refinement or need to have the cleansing, same as what we did before. Okay, because otherwise, if you don't see like the, the chart showing anything, you might think that you do something wrong. But actually, in this case, we didn't do anything wrong. Just the country doesn't have the leading characters only. Okay, All right. Okay, so this is the splitting of the splitting of the um, column and um, trimming the column, the data of the column. So um, do you have any questions about this cap splitting and trimming? All right. So if you don't have the questions about this one, okay, this won't be long. The next thing that um, I would like to teach you is what we called columns. Uh -huh. Uh, and measure, columns and measure. Okay, let's talk about the column and measures in Power BI. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, in here I use like the new page uh, so that we can just like um, write down the things that we want to have. I'll talk about column uh, and measure. What are column and measure? Uh, so in this one, I want to, to see the original data first. So in this one, if we go to others detail, you can see that right now we have product ID, unit price, quantity, and discount, right? You don't know what is the total amount that um, this order has to pay. Why is that? Because actually, unit price and quantity actually, um, this information are separated in two pieces. If you would like to know the total amount, you have to multiply unit price and quantity together, right? To get the total amount. So that's why in here, if we just like um, create a visual in order to display the total amount for each order, it is difficult to do so. Because right now you don't have any data talking about the total amount at all. Um, in order to do this one, somebody said, hey, can I just like use Excel in order to multiply unit price and quantity together? And then um, before I get into Power BI, you may be able to do that. But in this class, we don't use that way. Why is that cup? Because if it is the function in Excel and you do it in Excel, for example, and I have you multiply unit price and quantity together. If you enter the wrong operators, for example, if we say that you just like add unit price with the quantity instead of multiplying them, what will happen? I have in Excel, you can see that, okay, for example, when I have the order ID 10508 here, if you add unit price with the quantity, you get 28, right? So, and then you see that the formula is unit price plus quantity. But when you come, you just like get the data into Power BI already, it doesn't show the formula that you get. It just show 28, just that. And you will never know what that formula is. Uh -huh. The things that you have, and sorry, that is the first problem. Second problem is that uh -huh. later on, if you would like to just like calculate something to check and to show in the, to show in the um, Power BI, it means that you have to go back to Excel, uh -huh. um, enter the formula in another column and get it once again. Uh -huh that is not um, flexible at all. Uh, another problem is that what if the data that you get is from the database or from the web? You cannot go to Excel and then um, change the formula or add the formula into another column. Uh, you can do it like that. That's why today we will learn how to just like create uh, um, then an extra piece of data uh, for each column or uh, for each record in order to show the calculation. 
And if you would like to edit that formula, you can do straight away in Power BI instead of just link, um, instead of loading the data back and forth from Excel to Power BI many times. So in here, we will learn about what we, the two that is what we call column. Uh, while the measure is another tool that just like um, find some total value right, of like all the records that we have according to the condition that we have got is similar to the column, but it has like the difference as well that I will just like talk about it later on. Right? Now, let's talk about the column first. The column, have is a tool that help us in order to create extra column into your Power BI. You can have many extra column as you would like to have. Now have so in this one, when you create the column, I have in Power BI, you have to know that it is not the tools to enter the data like in Excel. Perhaps you cannot write down or enter the data for each cell separately. The things that you have to do in this case is that if we have, um, if we create a column and we say that this column is the unit price multiplied by quantity, that means every single cell or every single row will have unit price by quantity like this and have for the column. So in this one, we had, um, before we had the break, I talk about the column and um, the just like the basic ideas for the column. The column is a tool that help us for calculating some values um, in, the, in the table, in each table that we would like to have. For example, if we talk about if we talk about um, a column in here, that we would like to have something like, for example, the tax, and we said that the tax rate is seven percent for every single um, records. Now, you can just like put seven percent for every single records um, as a special column called um, tax rate, something like that. If we would like to multiply some values right, from um, the existing data of each record, for example, we say that, okay, the amount of sales right, is from unit price multiplied by quantity. Right? You can just like um, use a formula, unit price multiplied by quantity and place it to every single record of the data in a special column as well. Uh, so this is what we call a column. Uh, let me just like show you how do we gonna create a column uh, in the in the um, table. Firstly, uh, you have to know that when you would like to put the column uh, into what table. If that column consists of the calculation uh, from the fields that we have got. Uh, Mergerly, uh, the data, uh, I mean, the column should be put in the table that consists of the most columns that has to use for calculation. Uh, let me say again, we put the column in the table where major of the fields that you use to um, use in the calculation uh, is in that table. So the things that we have to do uh, is that, okay, otherwise, uh, what will happen? Otherwise, we have to just like refer to other table and we, um, the, the um, formula will be long, uh, will be long. So the things that we have to do uh, is that we just go to uh, in here, we go to the table that we would like to create a column first. For example, in here, we would like to create the column in power orders detail uh, in here. So we go to home uh, and new column, uh, or we can go to table tools, new column, the same thing uh, in here. Okay. So when we click new column already, uh, Power BI will generate a new column for you. Uh, in this one, you can see that we have an extra column called column, uh, and we see the formula bar in here. 
the things that we have to do is that first you rename นะครับ you rename the column as you would like to have for example นะครับ in this one I name it as gross and um, gross sales column นะครับ I still use the word column นะครับ behind the word gross sales นะครับ um, I'll talk about the reasons next on นะครับ okay Assume that we would like to use or to find gross sales from quantity, sorry, unit price multiplied by quantity. The things that you do, นะครับ behind the equal sign, you just type um, some leading characters of the field name. นะครับ in this one, I said that unit price, I type units. You can see that um, Power BI will show you for the fields, นะครับ that has or uh, consists of the word unit. Up here, it has like unit price and quantity because it has the word U I T Y U N I T U N I T. Sorry, in here. So, uh, just type some part of the field name only, and then click to choose instead of typing the full name. Because if you type, you may type wrongly. Uh, in here, you can see that um, before we have the word unit price. Uh, in this um, list, uh, that is popping in here. You can see that we have orders detail, I have the um, quote, I have orders detail, I have, and then square bracket unit price. Orders detail here means table name. The things in the square bracket is the field name. So in this one means that in this calculation, it will refer the data in the field unit price I have of the table orders detail for you. Then you just click here. And after that, you multiply. You can have a space first. Okay, multiply by quantity. You type one. Okay, here it's the order detail quantity. Just click there. So in this one, this is the new column that will be created called gross sales column. Um, and the formula for this column. Is from unit price multiplied by quantity. When we finish this already, just press enter. Okay, so right now, every single cell will come with the new value in the column called gross sales column. I have in here. So if you would like to have like more decimal places. I have or some decimal places for the gross sales here. You can just like um, set up I have the um, number of decimal points I have in the column tools as well. I have. So in here, you can have like um, decimal points. But if you don't want to have it, you can just like um, change according to what you need. I have. Okay, right. So for the gross sales column in here, I have. Um, we have the data like this. Uh -huh. So in this one, up to this point, do you have any questions? Have anyone? Do you get the new gross co um, sales column yet? Okay, so if you have it already, uh -huh, let me just like see this. Um, file for you just won't be long huh? okay just give me a minute now huh? let me just locate that file for you Okay, so in this one, I would like you to try creating by yourself for these columns.
I want you to try creating this column ครับอ่า before we create this column นะครับ before we create this column let me just like change this one a little bit before we can just like do this one นะครับ so um I would like to rename นะครับ I would like to rename the column here นะครับ from gross sales นะครับ to be sales amount นะครับ sales amount Sales amount column instead, because otherwise you have another cross sales and it will be wrong. Okay, rename the cross sales column to be sales amount column first. Okay, right, and then please do this one. Create this column for me, please. In this one, I give you fifteen minutes to create. 15 minutes to create. Um, for these columns that we have to create, uh, that we have to create. Firstly, uh, you are asked to create the discount amount uh, in here. Okay, let me just um, have this one. We go to home and then create new column, I have to create new column. The first one I have did is um, the discount amount. I call it as discount amount column, come from sales amount. I have, that we just recently created, multiply by discount. You can see that the um, the column that you just recently created when you refer to it, you can also refer to it as well in here. For example, you can see that we have sales amount, right? When you have sales amount <clears throat> column, it just like show you as a column in a table like this. I have multiply by discounts. Then we press enter. You should get the discount amount. In here, somebody said that, hey, um, are there anything wrong? Why my discount amount column has zero? Perhaps this is not wrong huh? because your discount is 0%. That's why discount amount is zero. If you just have a look, perhaps if you filter, you can see that um, you can see other numbers that is not zero as well. Perhaps. So that means the, um, the record that you have zero is not wrong perhaps in here. Okay, next, we create the next um, column that is tax rate. You can see that for this column, the tax rate here is a constant 7%. When you create 7%, it's like this. We go to new column. And then we say that okay, it's tax rate column. I have come, um, is, sorry, it's 7%. You just type um 7% directly but you have to know the point that is really important for power bi um, formula in here it doesn't accept percent symbol so you have to be careful percent symbol here is not allowed because if you try to enter 7% you can see that it shows the curly red line underneath percent symbol and if you press enter, it shows the error. Uh -huh. Because the percent symbol in here uh -huh, uh, is a spatial character. Uh -huh. um, Power BI does not um, accept this value. It doesn't know what it is. Then instead of entering 7%, uh -huh, you have to enter 0 0.07. Uh -huh. That means 7% instead of 7 and percent symbol. Uh -huh. In here, you can see that now we get 0 0.07 um, already. Uh -huh. Bear in mind, never use seven and per sorry, never use percent symbol uh -huh, to represent percent in um, the column. Next on, uh -huh, 
the third column is tax amount นะครับ tax amount is tax rate ทุน sales amount time sales amount sorry um, in this one I go to create new column And in this one, this is tax amount. Okay. This won't be long. I have tax amount. Is tax rate multiplied by sales amount. Okay in here okay you get the tax amount column already next I have is column gross sales is sales amount subtracted by discount amount so we go to gross sales and have create the um, new column first so this is real gross sales column equals to uh, sales amount uh, sub subtracted by discount amount here just put space in between uh, Subtract that symbol. Here I get the gross sales column already. The next column is net sales. Is gross sales subtracted by its tax amount? Net sales. Uh, okay. It's from gross sales. subtracted by tax amount okay next I have it is the um, column in the order table I have create a column in the order table name handling fee that is 200 bahts. I have that is 200 bahts. We go to table order. It's here, table orders. And then I create a new column called handling fee. Column equals to 200 bahts. I have, I just like, because this is constant, I just type 200 and then I press enter. So every single um, record has like 200 bucks um, handling fee. I have. Why don't I put the handling fee column in the order detail? Because we found that, okay, in each order, you may have like many order details. If you set um, handling fee column in the order detail table, it means that every item that you purchased has a handling fee column 200 bucks. But in here, it means in one order, you pay 200 bucks for the handling fee. Doesn't matter how many items that you purchase. I have. Okay. Now, when we create the um, handling fee column in the orders table already, the last one, I have, we would like to update the net sales column. I have to be gross sales subtracted by tax amount I have, plus handling fee. Okay, so now we go back to um, the table order detail that we had before. And we have to update the net sales column in here. You can see that this one is from gross sales subtracted by tax amount in here. You have to also um, plus the handling fee in there. Now let's see what happened if you type handling fee, you type hand, there's nothing happened. Can somebody tell me what's going on? 
we have the handling fee column นะครับ but when we type it does not show handling fee in this list what does it mean or what happened can somebody tell me what happened in the in the in the um formula bar in here can somebody tell me what happened why don't we see handling fee in here Can you please type in the chat box if you get some ideas or some explanation? Different table. Yes, Cap. Because it's from different table. In order to just like use the field, the Cap, um, or the columns in the formula, the value or the sorry, the the field has to be in the same table only. Otherwise, in this case, the Cap. You can see that you cannot directly type. Uh, you cannot directly type the name of the field uh, to be used in the calculation here in the column that we are creating. So now we have another function uh, that you have to learn in order to use the data uh, from another table. You have to use a function called relate. Uh, we have to use a function called relate. Relate is a function that we use to relate the field from another table, from another table um, to be used in this table. So in this one, in this one, let's see if we just like um, use the relate function, what will happen in here? So you just like type relates. You can see that when you put related, have related, sorry, it's related. Another D in here. Related. In here, I have, I just go back to my formula. It's related, I have, and then open the parenthesis. When you open the parenthesis, it lists out, it lists out all the field that we have got in here. You can just type the name, handling fee. If you type handling fee, you can see that when I type H-A-N, it shows handling fee column from the orders table for us straight away. In this case, you click the handling fee column in here. So this one is the related functions. And after that, you close the parenthesis once again. So you can see that right now, the function here, sorry, the, the new column here, net sales column come from three fields together. Orders have subtracted by this group. You subtracted by the first one that is tax amount column. And the other one is handling fee. And the handling fee here, we use related functions to relate the column from another table for the calculation in this um, column. So when you finish already, you just press enter. Then it will recalculate the net sales column for you. It will calculate the net sales column for you. Oh, actually, if the formula is wrong a bit, must be just like um, the not subtracted by handling fee. It must be added by handling fee. I just put the wrong calculation. I have everyone. Otherwise, it would be the minus. Okay. Yeah. So this is the um, functions that we have got. So let me just type it in. So you add with the um, handling fee. So in this one, you have the net sales column uh, um, already that we can relate the data from another um, from another table. Okay.
Okay, so um, before we move on to the next topic, do you have any question about this? So if you don't have any questions, I can tell you that when you see the formula in here, it needs some functions to be used. It also used just like some calculation as well. In here, in the formula bar here, anything that you write it in this, um, in this formula bar, we call it as dax, D-A-X in Power BI. So when you read in any um, websites or any textbook about Power BI, when you see DAX, that means the functions and the formula that you use in this formula bar. DAX or DAX stand for Data Analysis Expression. DAX or Data Analysis Expression. So um, apart from the, the basic calculation that we have, plus minus multiplication division, we also have like the functions that we use in the DAX as well, like related, something like this, in order to get the data from different tables that we have got. So if you remember, I told you already that whenever we have the, um, whenever we have the power, um, BI, and we would like to have when we would like to create columns. Make sure that the calculations of that, I mean, like, sorry, the location where you put the column should be in the table. That majority of the fields that you use as a part of that calculation is in that table too. For example, if you can see that for um, discount um, amount, it's from discount and then um, sales amount that happen, that appear in this table. So it means that when you type the formula, it will be easy because um, Power BI will just like help you in the DAX to show you the um, list of the fields that we have got. But let's see. If you enter this DAX have to create a column named ABC, have, that come from some parts in orders table, some fields from order detail. Have. So you can see that none of those fields are in categories table at all. So you have to use related function in order to get the data from those different tables. Have. And also, I mean, whenever you really have to use those data, in your visualization, it will be difficult as well because you might be confused that, hey, field ABC here, actually, it should be in the orders table. Why, um, how come it is in, um, it appears in categories table instead? Uh -huh. So that will make you just like find that field more difficult when you have to really create your visualization. Uh -huh. Now we have like these kind of um, columns that you created already. Then we can just like use this data in our um, visualization. So in this one, suppose I say that okay, when we finish this already, we would like to create a visualization in order to just like show. Let's say if I want to just like show the um, sales, I have the total sales. Like um, I want to just like show the sales, the net sales in each country. Okay, so I can just like show it easily because in this one, um, we have the net sales already. We have the net sales already. Okay, so right now I have, we can have just like the net sales as we want. And if you would like to have the, um, the line chart to show the sales I have by each country as well, you can just like do that. 
or the um, bar chart tell us about the net sales in each bar chart as well okay right okay then this is what we have to know about like the way in order to create the columns in power bi so when you create the columns in here it makes your power bi have to be more powerful in order to show us the data in the um, in form of the visualization properly because we have more than just the data that we have in terms of just like the basic data, like unit price and quantity, but you also have just like the net sales, the gross sales or whatever calculation that we would like to have as well. Okay, right, okay. So before we finish the class, I just wanna tell you that um, I'll start assigning the term, the, the, sorry, the group assignment for you in terms of Power BI. Let me just like show you first, what are we going to do for the group assignments? You can see that actually, we have many of visualizations that appear, that appear in this Power BI. Apart from that one, we also have, we can also get more visuals if we would like to have as well in here that I showed you before, that we can get more, sorry, that we can get more visuals if you like to have. By the way, I told you already that different kind of charts or different kind of visual, you can just like use it for different purposes. Um, it fits different kind of data as well. For example, if you are talking about um, the dial gauge, the dial gauge actually it shows you one piece of data at the time, uh -huh. or at most, if you say that okay, you want to show like three or four different things, uh -huh. dial gauge might be okay. But let's see, if you say that you have like twenty countries that you sell the products to, you cannot use like um you cannot fit all of those twenty countries in one um um one gauge. Uh -huh. The things that you may have to do is that, okay, this set of data might fit with the um, bar chart instead or line chart instead. Uh, suppose we're talking about like products and sales. You can see that, okay, if we just like have products and sales, if we just try to have, this won't be long, have, if you try to have just like products and sales, let's see where's the product. I use, um, pie chart with the product ID, sorry, product name. Uh, I choose in the product table, I choose product name, and then I just like use the um, gross, um, gross sales. You can see that in here, it might be just like um, too small to fit in um, your pie chart like this, especially for the slices on the left hand side here I have you can see that it, they are very tiny sometimes you cannot um, distinguish them so when you have so many products like this pie chart might not be okay uh, you may have to use some other kind of chart instead like bar chart or line chart uh, or other charts that is suitable or if you say that hey what about using this one table I told you already to have, this is the worst visual in Power BI and you do not use it. When you see in the exam, do not use this kind of uh, visualization. Otherwise the score, you will be deducted. Have you not get the full score and I can tell you. The reason is because for the um, lots of data that you have like this, it is very difficult to compare. Have minimum one, maximum one or group the data together. Uh -huh. So that's why when you have lots of data, you should use like some kind of visualization that can show the data that is better than just the table like this. So uh -huh, when we have this one, you can see that if we say that um, pie chart is not good, uh -huh, what kind of chart should be good for us? The things that we have to do is that uh -huh, I will just like let you work in the team. This one, I have, let's have a look. Um, I'll show you this one first and then I'll just like um, set it up for each group next on. Let's have a look. Have. 
โอเค in this one นะครับ I will separate each team นะครับ to just like work on the different um visuals นะครับ so for extra visual one means that when you go to um um work นะครับ extra visual one means that I want you to pick นะครับ the visual from this um get more visual นะครับ from app source in here just pick like the extra one for your team นะครับ and after that you just like um present นะครับ what are we going to do ครับ in this one I want you to just like um think about นะครับ the data set by yourself นะครับ that okay let's say if you are assigned to do the line chart นะครับ what is the example of data set that is good for line chart and then present it when you present you record a video นะครับ by using zoom นะครับ record the video and then just like show us for the data set and then show that okay how good is that um, visualization tools to match with this set of data นะครับ so that means if your team is assigned for five different um, visual นะครับ that means um, you may have like five different data sets if those five visuals นะครับ match with different kind of data set just create a new data set by yourself นะครับ you don't need to just like have like thousands of records no need นะครับ depends on the type of the visual that you are assigned and after that นะครับ when you when you present นะครับ the things that you have to submit to me is that you submit you have to submit the um presentation file นะครับ that is in YouTube you just submit me the link and after that นะครับ data set that you use นะครับ for each visual just submit it into um the e-learning so that it will be I mean like after you submit นะครับ it will be useful for yourself นะครับ and also for your classmates as well because I will share นะครับ the video um the, that video links นะครับ to the class so that other um other people can just like study for those visuals it will be useful for you in the exam นะครับ in this one so in this one I will just like um I I'll write down the I'll write down the submissions and the instructions for the um for this um um submission for this assignment for for you นะครับ and then I'll just like um announce it in the line group that okay when will be the due date นะครับ actually I give you around like one week in order to complete this one so that means you should like um be able to finish it within um the end of this week นะครับ okay so please submit it to me before next Monday นะครับ all right okay then นะครับ up to this point do you have any questions กับ anyone I'll open up this assignment นะครับ um this late afternoon นะครับ when I finish all the um explanation to um section five as well